Entity Relationship Diagram, Vehicle Registration. Now, in some previous videos, we've taken a look at data dictionaries used to illustrate different types of categories of data that would be stored on vehicles, on license holders, and on registering in New South Wales, uh, the vehicles and the license holders. So basically, they were data dictionaries used to illustrate flat file databases. Though when we did look at one of them, we showed this idea of foreign keys that being used to link other databases to it. Now, the best way of illustrating a relational database is using an entity relationship diagram, or also known as a schema, which is the classification of diagram that it is. These are the best ways of actually illustrating a relational database model because we can show the separate entities and what attributes are within them. Okay, so we're going to look at this for this RMS database we've been looking at this whole time in these previous videos. So this could be a database for um, the RMS, uh, Road and Maritime Services, or the DMV as it's referred to in other countries, the Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay, and specifically for different license holders registering their separate vehicles so that they are registered with the governing body. So let's first take a look at the entities, which are the different database tables that make up this relational database. So our separate entities would be driver, registration, and vehicle. Okay, so think of them as all their own different database tables, okay, and we'll be making a data dictionary for each of them. Okay, in a relational database, they are called entities. Now, each of those entities has their own fields. So these fields in the entity relationship diagram are called attributes. So they may look familiar if you've seen my previous videos. So for driver, we've got the license ID, okay, and which is the license number on every individual driver's, driver's license. Okay, first name, last name, address, postcode, date of birth, expiry date, license class, and driver image. Then for the vehicle, we have the vehicle ID and class, manufacturer, model type, year, and color. And then obviously the registration. And as we pointed out, the registration has its own ID as its primary key, but then the license ID and vehicle ID as foreign keys so that we can connect the other two entities to the registration entity. Pink slip, rego payment, and CTP green slip are all things that need to be pre-approved before rego can take place. And then the registration is given an expiry for when rego needs to occur again. So they are the attributes of the three entities, okay? The actual fields that make them up. The final part in, in developing an entity relationship diagram is establishing the relationships. Now, we know that the relationships are going to be developed through the pri primary and foreign keys, okay? Which then is used to reference all other attributes within the other entity. So let's first highlight the primary keys. So firstly, rego ID is the main primary key of registration. Then, in driver, license ID is the primary key, okay? But in registration, it is the foreign key. Using that as the foreign key means that registration can then reference all the attributes of the driver entity, okay? So it can reference the first name, last name, address, and all the rest of the actual driver who's registering this vehicle from the registration entity. You see a one and an infinity symbol. Okay, and that means one to many relationship. Basically, every single driver record okay, can register multiple vehicles. Okay, they can make multiple registrations, but every registration is only registered to a single driver. So that is why it's one to many. One driver can make many registrations, but every registration only is listed to one driver. Okay, then let's take a look at the other side with vehicle ID. So with the vehicle ID, we pretty much have a straight up one-to-one -one relationship. And that whole reasoning there is each vehicle is only registered once and each registration only refers to one vehicle. So that is a one-to-one -one relationship based on the records referencing each other. So I hope this entity relationship diagram helps you understand how to illustrate a relational database, because obviously this is the best way of illustrating a relational database, for you can see the separate entities that make up the relational database here in the form of driver, registration, and vehicle, and the different fields that make up each of those entities, as we call them, the attributes of each entity which then can be referenced between entities through establishing relationships, one-to-one, one-to-many, and not seen here, a many-to-many -many relationship, so that other attributes of other entities can be referred to in a separate entity through a relationship.